war. We're not winning it. If you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed for high treason. It's beautiful. It's the greatest encryption device in history, and the Germans use it for all communications. Everyone thinks Enigma is unbreakable. Let me try, and we'll know for sure. What was it about Graham Moore's script when you read it, and about Alan Turing's story in general, that made you want to be a part of putting it on the screen? The, the first moment I met him, read him, in the script, I just I was intrigued by him. I thought it was such an ingenious introduction to a really complex character, and presented him in all this sort of spectacular um, brilliance, um, his oddness, his different nature, his very literal interpretation of language, his pedanticness, and then just slowly this beautiful unfolding of why he was this person that you meet at the beginning of the film and, and what he then evolved into. Um, Humour which was really important for me, the intelligence that was, that was exciting and not dull, um, that uh, was, um, yeah, just, 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 just how profound the effect this man's life had on our world, you know, and it just that, that overall effect of his story after finishing reading the script really, really hit me and winded me, and I thought, I really want to be a part of this. I'm afraid these men would only slow me down. Popular at school, were you? It's just got there's so many elements to it. It's a, it's a, it's a mystery, it's a, it's a race against the clock, it's a thriller, it's a love story, both with him and Christopher and with, with Joan. Um, strong role for a woman in, in, the, in the shape of Joan, which Kira just knocks out of the park, and, um, and great, great roles throughout the, the, the population of Bletchley Park, this sort of disparate group of people that come together as a team and then have all these different agendas which just sort of implode and come back together and then uh, explode again finally because they have to disband and forget they ever were there and did whatever they did. I mean, it's extraordinary. A remarkable man, a beautifully constructed story and script, so, uh, yeah, kind of utterly irresistible for an actor. You're going to need all the help you can get, and they are not going to help you if they do not like you. Our patience has expired. No! If you fire Helen, well then you'll have to fire me. Me too. And me. You better bloody work. You've worked with several of the people in the cast before, Kira yeah. included, yeah. Um, but there are some people you hadn't worked before sure. with before. And the dynamic with the Hut 8 group is, is an interesting one and kind of yeah. a fragile relationship that they, they come together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. And how did you kind of work on that in that you knew some of the people before? Did you have to kind of remove yourself some, sometimes to kind of keep a separation there? A little bit, actually, a little bit. There were, there, were, there were some moments, you know, where he is sort of out on his own a little bit. Um, but we're all good friends and we're actors, so it's not like I had to really kind of... Uh, it, it, yeah, it was fine, it was fine. I could turn it on and off between takes, but... Um, it's very helpful when you know actors um, from previous jobs because uh, I always try and shake it up and do things different even if people like to draw using comparisons between smart people I've played. To me they're utterly, utterly different characters if you really just put them side by side. They are very different. Um, and yet, you know, what I'm saying this for is that I was doing something different than they'd seen me do before and vice versa. And you have that fluidity of knowledge of one another as friends and as actors to kind of challenge and work through things and discuss things and evolve and, and inspire one another and push one another. So that's, that's a great starting point. There's none of that kind of slight awkwardness of not knowing the person, how to approach them. and talk. You can just be very blatant and honest with, with friends. You have six minutes to 